Hey folks, welcome back to the coffee bar. Today, we're going to go to Motown. So get yourself a cup of your favorite brew, sit back and put your feet up. Here we go. Good old Google says, Detroit Bold Coffee says, We've been roasting Detroit Bold in the shadows of our auto plant since 1914. So Detroit Bold has been around for a long time. All right, folks, like I said, today we're going to have a little bit of Motown here at the coffee bar. Last weekend, we spent the weekend in Frankenmuth, Michigan. That is one awesome place. If you haven't been there, you need to go. I While have I was had, there, we went to a little had, bit of shopping, and I come across Detroit Bold Colombian Espresso Cafe Signature. Now, this is their dark roast. I have had Detroit Bowl before. I had the Woodward brand, and it was a really good cup of coffee. Today, like I said, we're going to try the Colombian Espresso. Um, I've already been into this bag. I can already tell you it is fantastic. But As you know, I'm a fan of the dark roast. This is dark. Now I already got a pod set up here for the Keurig. As usual, we're gonna try it black, then we're gonna try it with milk. In the meantime, let's talk about Detroit Bold a little bit. In case you haven't figured out by now, I am a huge fan of Detroit. Anything that's going on in Detroit, I love to know about. We are there all the time, whether we're shopping or just looking around, just walking downtown. It is a very cool place. So let's see what they got. So uh, the Woodward Ave blend, like I said, I've had that before. They've also got the 8 Mile Blend. That is a dark roast coffee. It's also in brackets here, strong coffee. They do have the French Gourmet Dark Roast. You can get that in ground or whole bean. And also the uh, Detroit Bold Cafe Signature. Ground or whole bean coffee. That is what's the one that I've got right here. Now all these coffees are anywhere from 7 to 39 bucks. Now that's all going to depend on the size of the bag and whether it's ground or not. But uh, they've also got decaf as well. Uh, they have a one here called a 1 in a million coffee roast. You can get that in ground or whole bean. And obviously a Christmas roast. Now whether that's only available around the Christmas time or not, I don't know. But it uh, seems they've pretty much taken care of a whole lot of things. There's one here I didn't know they had. This one here called Detroit Muscle. That's the mechanic's choice. That's Detroit Bold's, not my saying. And also the Detroit Muscle Garage. <laughs> Blend unleaded. That is some interesting marketing there. Now, a little bit about the uh, coffee company itself. I tried to find a little bit of history as to when it was started or how the coffee company started. Now, I do recall watching some videos on YouTube about Detroit Bold. And the CBO of Detroit Bold. I had never heard of a CBO. I've heard of a CEO, a COO, CFO. I've never heard of a CBO. Let me just read this to you here. Every locally roasted bean is imbued with the hard work, grit, and determination that defines the unshakable spirit of the city that bears its name. That'd be Detroit. Whether you design it, Fix it, build it, or clean it up. Be bold, my friends. Detroit Bold. And this is signed by A.J. O'Neill, CBO. CBO. Chief Bean Officer. Got a bit of a chuckle when I saw that. Uh, maybe that's an actual title. I don't know. Um, Mr. O'Neill, if you happen to watch this, leave me a comment down below. Is that an actual title? Or if you know... If this happens to be an actual title, let me know. Um, didn't mean to laugh at it. Thought it was interesting. Thought it was a little humorous. Anyway, while I'm sitting here gabbing, I guess I should have been making some coffee. Now, simply going off of memory here, I did watch a lot of the uh, online videos that Detroit Bold has, and you're gonna, I can't quote them verbatim, but I can tell you that Mr. O'Neill and his company do give a lot back to the city of Detroit. 
in a lot of media reports, the city of Detroit gets a bad rap. And if you've never been there, don't knock it. Uh, like I said, my, my family and I travel there all the time because I only live 30 minutes away across the river in Canada, that is. There's all kinds of places to have dinner, coffee shops, high-end restaurants, high-end hotels. And, of course, they've got the Detroit Red Wings. You a Red Wings fan? How about Tigers? I don't watch football, and I don't think there's too many. Never mind. Also on the Detroit Bull website, it says you can become a coffee subscriber. As a coffee club subscriber, you'll receive exclusive discounts and promotions to stay up to date with our upcoming Bold events. You can find Detroit Bold Coffee just about anywhere. Not here in Ontario, but just about anywhere. So coffee's done. Let's see what we got. That's nice and dark. That's got a nice, nice earthy, rich smell to it. That's not bad black. That's nice and smooth for a bold cup of coffee. That's nice and smooth. But we got to add milk. Why do we have to add milk? Well, it's kind of because that's what we do here. Not a lot. Hmm. I can actually drink this black. There is a trend going here on this show, is there not? Less and less milk, more towards the black. That's good coffee. And this is not sponsored at all by Detroit Bold. Um, I have not contacted Detroit Bold at all. I bought this. And to be honest, this is a... 8 ounce bag. I think I paid $7.99 for this bag. So, hmm. That is some nice quality coffee. We learned a little bit about Detroit Bold. Awesome cup of coffee. If you have not visited the city of Detroit, don't knock it. Go to Detroit, take in the sights and sounds, and make up your own mind. It is an awesome city to visit. The architecture, and as you may or may not know, I love doing photography and videography of old buildings. Here in Canada, we have a tendency to just rip them down and build something new. And that's what I love about the, the big cities in the U.S. You like to keep your old buildings, and people like me like that you keep your old buildings, because the photography and the videography that goes along with those old buildings can be pretty exceptional. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, Detroit Bold Coffee, fantastic cup of coffee. I'm going to be sure to pick up some of their other brands just so that I can try them out and bring you the review on those as well. That's it. And remember, the best way to drink coffee is the way you like to drink it. See ya. Forgot my coffee. I'm not sure why it's over there.